properties of materials what is properties of material the term property is a quantitative or qualitative measure of response of a material to externally imposed conditions like forces and temperature consideration of properties of material is important when we choose a material for a specific product for example if spectacles are not made out of transparent material we will not be able to see anything if umbrella material absorb water will get wet in the rain similarly if the keys are made out of glass that will break when we use it in this video we will dig into mechanical physical and chemical properties of material to get a fair understanding let us get into the details first we will see what are the mechanical properties of material mechanical properties of material are strength toughness elasticity plasticity stiffness ductility malleability hardness creep fatigue resilience etc let us dig into more details strength strength of a material is the ability of a material to withstand stress without failure or the capacity to withstand destruction under the action of external load there are multiple variants of stresses acting on the material when it is in use the three common type of stresses acting on the materials are tensile stress compressive stress and shear stress the ability of a material to withstand a stretching load without breaking is called tensile strength similarly the compressive strength is the ability of a material to withstand a squeezing load without breaking shear strength is the ability of a material to withstand load which have a cutting action for example when we use a scissor the shear stress is happening on the material this chart shows strength of many materials here composites and metals having higher strength compared to the ceramics forms and polymers toughness toughness is the ability of a materials to withstand a sudden impact or a hammering load so this is also called impact strength here is the example of more tough and more fragile products elasticity the ability of a material to deform under a load and return to its original shape when the load is removed is called elasticity if you stretch an elastic or a spring that will get stretched out when you remove the force that will return to its original shape in this stress strain diagram it is evident that stress is directly proportional to the strain up to a certain force acting on a material so this region is called elastic region plasticity this is the ability of a material to deform under a load and retain its new shape when the load is removed that means the material is not going to return to its original shape the clay undergone plastic deformation and attained its new shape per this stress strain diagram if the force is applied on the material after the elastic limit the material will undergo plastic deformation and it's not going to get back to its original shape stiffness resistance of a material to elastic deformation or deflection is called stiffness or rigidity for example while stretching or compressing a rod the stiffness is defined as k k is equal to f by delta f is the applied force and delta is the deflection if the material is having higher strength it is hard to broken if the material is having higher stiffness it is hard to be deformed glass having lower strength than higher stiffness while spring having higher strength and lower stiffness ductility the ability of a material to be stretched into wire without breaking is called ductility this is the term used when a material is deformed by a tensile load you can see an example of ss and copper which are stretched into the wire shape this is the stress strain curve of a brittle and ductile material the ductile material absorb more energy and stretched and elongated as shown in the figure malleability the ability of a material to be hammered into a thin sheets without cracking is called malleability you can see here coins and platinum foil which are formed into a thin sheets gold is the most malleable material hardness the ability of a material to resist scratch abrasion cutting or penetration is called hardness this is the ability of a material to withstand scratching by another hard body material can be hard or soft as shown in the images This chart shows hardness of different material based on the testing. Feel free to pause the video and look into the chart. Creep. The slow and progressive deformation of a material with time 
at constant stress is called creep. Creep is a type of mental deformation that occurs at stresses below the yield strength of the material. Generally, it will happen at elevated temperatures. This image shows how creep start and end with the failure. Creep can happen in three stages, the primary creep, secondary creep and tertiary creep and end up with the failure. Secondary creep will undergo a large duration compared to the primary creep and tertiary creep. Fatigue Fracture of a material because of the repeated or fluctuating loads are called fatigue. Fatigue fractures are progressive. At the beginning stage the crack size would be very small and gradually increase the crack size under the action of fluctuating stresses. Here is the image of fatigue fractures happened in multiple components. Resilience Resilience is the capacity of a material to absorb energy elastically. Nylon has excellent resilience. The stress strain diagram shows the resilience of a ductile material. The area under the elastic region is called elastically absorbed energy or resilience. Now we will see what are the physical properties of materials. Physical properties of materials are density, thermal conductivity, electrical conductivity, optical properties, melting point, boiling point, solubility, viscosity, magnetism, hydroscopicity, crystalline structure, shape and size, acoustical characteristics, flammability and color. Density Density is the mass per unit volume of a material. Higher density material has higher mass and lesser volume. If you take a cork and lead of same mass, the volume of cork would be much higher than the lead because lead has higher density. This chart shows the density of multiple materials. Metals and ceramics has higher density. Next, conductivity. Conductivity refers to the ability of a material to allow passage of electricity or heat. There are two types of conductivity. One is thermal conductivity and the other is electrical conductivity. Property of a material to transmit heat through is called thermal conductivity. This image shows the heat transformation from one area of the body to the another. Property of a material to transmit electricity through it is called electrical conductivity. An object can be electric insulator or electric conductor. This chart shows the electrical conductivity and thermal conductivity of multiple materials. Copper and aluminum alloys has higher electrical conductivity and thermal conductivity. Next, optical property. Optical property is the capability of a material to let the light pass through it and objects clearly seen. A material can be opaque, translucent or transparent. Through transparent material, we will be able to see any object very clearly. Whereas, if you see through any opaque object, you will not be able to see anything. If you see through translucent material, you will see the object partially, you will not be able to see the object clearly. The image shows how the object can be seen through opaque, translucent and transparent material. Melting point and boiling point. The capability of a material to melt under high temperature defines the melting point of material. Melting point is the temperature at which material goes from solid to liquid state. Boiling point. Capability of a material to boil under high temperature is called boiling point. Next, solubility. The measure of how much a solute will dissolve in a solvent is called solubility of the material. The solubility of one substance in another is determined by the balance of intermolecular forces between the solvent and the solute. The image shows the solute put it in a solvent and had become a solution. The factors such as temperature and pressure will affect the solubility of the material. Viscosity Viscosity is the quantity that describes the fluid's resistance to flow. Honey has much higher viscosity than water. When a fluid moves over the solid, the movement is parallel to the surface and this results in a shear force. From that you can derive an equation between the shear force and the viscosity. Shear force equal to viscosity into rate of shear deformation that is du by dy. U is the velocity and y is the height from the solid surface. Magnetism Magnetic properties of a material are those 
which determine ability of material for particular magnetic application examples of magnetic materials are iron nickel cobalt steel etc iron is magnetic so any material with iron in it will be attracted to magnet most other materials like aluminum copper or gold are not magnetic because they doesn't contain iron hydroscopicity ability of a material to absorb water or moisture is called hydroscopicity cellulose and silica gel is an example of hydroscopic materials the materials that are little hydroscopic are used for waterproof products next chemical properties of material ability of a material to change its chemical composition under the action of acid weather moisture or air can be considered as a chemical property change for example when a material burned and turned into a different material of a composition the burning is considered as a chemical property that defines how easily a substance combine chemically with other substance corrosion resting oxidation all can be considered as a chemical property change here are some of the examples of chemical property change you can see a rusted car which undergoes corrosion a burned wood you can see that after burning the wood is completely changed to a different material oxidation of plastic here you can see the oxidation of plastic when a plastic material exposed to weather sunlight or moisture for a longer period of time so in this video we have gone through all the important mechanical physical and chemical properties of material hope this video is helpful please give your comments and suggestions thank you